welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm currently sitting in the car with Jared and I'm about to walk into an endodontist office. If you don't know, that's like a really advanced, bum, bum, bum. specialized dentist because I have to have surgery on my mouth. Actually, on my jaw right here. So that's gonna be fun. Um, so we're about to go in and um, have our meeting and talk about all the things that have got to happen. Jared's here. He got off work early so he could come with me. But we're about to head in there and see what we're gonna have to do and we'll see when we get out. Alright guys, so we just finished with Britt's appointment and we have her surgery date now. It's a little still stressed out because it's gonna have to be like a month from now. It's kind of one of those things like she's okay today, but it's like literally the, the pain that she's been feeling can kind of come out of nowhere. Especially if like once antibiotics have worn off because she's been on antibiotics for I feel like almost a month now. But pretty much as soon as that wears off, it's like the infection comes back and starts really hurting. Basically, I have a cyst in my mouth and it's like it's like in my jaw and it's like touching the root of my tooth. It's really painful, but it's on the inside of my jaw. So I can't just go get a cavity filled. Like it's not a cavity. There's nothing wrong with my tooth. It's in my face. I'm not gonna be able to have it till January. I've already waited since November. Super, can't wait. He's like, if it starts hurting again, we'll just try a different antibiotic. We'll just put you on all these different classes. Like, that is a lot of antibiotics to be on. It's just like annoying. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, you're gonna be fine. I'm like, all right. I was like, well, I've already lost a lot of sleep because I, ha I do have a heart condition. And I'm like, I've been terrified that this was gonna go to my, an infection gonna, it's right here. So it could go to my brain, it could go to my heart. And he's like, oh, it's okay. Worst case scenario, you'll just, I'm like, no, worst case scenario, I die. Other case scenario, he was like, you'll go to the hospital and they'll just be like, oh, we don't know where the infection is. And then we step in and we're like, oh, we know. And I'm like, that doesn't make me feel any better. But thanks though. <laughs> so anyways, we're headed home. My mom called me and she was like, hey, do you wanna come play Pekino with us? Okay, I don't, I've heard my mom play Pekino in my whole life. I thought she had I, to be over the age of 40 to play that game. Yeah, she was like, we need a stand in. I was like, cool, I'll, I'll do it. And she was like, <laughs> awesome. You need to bring a dish, a dollar bill, and a present. And I was like, okay, I don't have a dish. I don't have Sounds a dollar like bill. And I don't have Dirty Santa. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I've got to find a dollar bill, which I do not have. And mom said I could like put my name on her dish too. Cause she's like, it's big enough. I was like, okay. And I've got to find a present under $20. I'm going to play Pekino tonight. Okay. So we've got to stop and get a $20 gift. So we're running in here to see if we can find one. FaceTime and we didn't even realize that you could do this, but I'm holding the camera, I'm looking at the road, but Jared's holding the phone. With my seatbelt on. We all have our seatbelts on though. Hey. What's up? Okay, the end. I'm struggling, Jared. Yeah, sleepy. Wow, you need a haircut. Yeah, Look how fluffy Jared's hair I gets. I wish I knew a hairdresser that'd do my hair for me. <laughs> Jared's hair gets so fluffy. He's got the thickest hair ever. Sweet. Well, pretty, pretty bad right now. Anyways, we're back home and my mom's actually here. She's probably about to walk through the door any second now. Say hey, mom. See my new pop socket? Oh, she's so excited about the new phone. She got that, what number is this, mom? 11 Pro Max Pro. Pro. She's so excited about it. Fancy, she's very fancy. proud of it. She went from like an iPhone original to this. <laughs> And it's even got glitter. She's really proud of it. We're about to go play Pekino for the first time. We've got our Christmas cup and our presents. All right, bye, Jer. We're heading out. Oh, yeah. There's my gift. You did a good job wrapping it. Thanks. Ooh. Okay, that's the best I can do. Anyways, all right, I'll see ya. I'm not going to bring the camera, so Jared's going to vlog while I'm done. Okay, bye. Bye, see bye. You later. So, Brett's going to Pekino with her mom. Me and the boys just hanging out here. Doing guy stuff. I'm watching the original Star Wars, A New Hope, and helping Britt by finishing up my part on helping her with ears. I'm gonna do that while she's gone and also start editing this vlog for tomorrow.
I'm back home. I had so much fun at Bikino. I've never played before, but it's one of my new favorite things. I was just a stand-in. Let me come back. I hope that somebody is always missing so I can play. But it's basically bingo, if you don't know what Pikino is. It's basically bingo and Dirty Santa mixed together. So much fun. So we did that and I won two things. Actually, I won three things, two things were stolen, and then my mom gave me one of her things, so I left with two things. When we were in the store earlier, I showed what I got, but I didn't talk about it, but I got that little ornament with a purple, gold, and green fleur-de-lis on it. So it was, the theme was Cajun Christmas, so I got a Cajun ornament, so it was perfect. So I got the new Lily Pulitzer planner. This is the one from 2020. I love Lily Pulitzer. I use a Lily Pulitzer planner every single year. I use this one and I also have another one. So one of them will kind of come with me and be in my car and my purse and then I keep one in my office. So I'm excited. I don't have to buy that one this year. My mom won it and they gave it to me. And then the thing that I just like won all by myself. I got this super cute little Santa. I'm so excited because I have the perfect place for it. It's super cute. It says ho 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 and his little mustache moves and his sign moves. It's so cute and it's got little burlap trimmings on it and it's the perfect place. So as y'all know, I'm starting to collect more and more Christmas decorations. So now I've got one more to add too. And he's really cute. So it's Santa and his reindeer. I've had this for a long time, but I've got a new one to add to it. Okay, I know I've said it in like the last three vlogs, but this area is literally driving me bonkers i've got to get this under control so i'm about to wrap all of these presents and get them under the tree so far i only have one christmas present under here it's for my mother-in-law she watches our videos so i cannot show you what that is and my family watches a lot of our videos so i don't really know what i can show and what i can't because there's a lot of family gifts in here but i'm about to wrap all this yeah i can't wait to have presents under the christmas tree finally Okay, I've gotten all but just a few presents. Not all of them are here, but I got a ton of them wrapped. I try to wrap as many just because I like actually wrapped gifts underneath the tree. Not necessarily a bunch of bags, but these, I didn't have a box or anything for them. So they had to go into a bag and Kipper was very curious. You do have a present under there. There was a dog at the girl's house we did Bikino at tonight and I, of course, petted it and it was all over me. So Kipper is very jealous and very clingy right now because he smells another dog on me. Okay, it's not much better just because this is a DIY I'm doing. This is an ornament box I got that I obviously I'm not going to use until we put up the tree. This is some bubble wrap that I got with a gift that they're all wrapped now, but I'm going to save it to wrap Christmas decorations in. He is just not excited about that. <laughs> Me touching another dog. Sorry. Do you smell it? His name was Mason and he got saved from the pound. And it was very, very exciting news. Oh, okay. This is a box of a decoration that's out right now. So some of the stuff just has to be put up and back into storage. And this contains the stuff to a DIY that I'm gonna do. But other than that, most everything else is up. It can kind of all be condensed to like this one spot. Just have to pop pop that on there but at least it's better i'll finish the rest of it tomorrow we have made it to bed sorry this is kind of a short vlog but we didn't really do a lot today like i said this has been our excuse forever of why we don't home vlog because we're pretty boring we really don't do that much we've done in the last week more than we ever do and we are laying in bed and this is oakley's favorite game he loves to play with his line at nighttime it is so dirty look at this it was so gross it's so gross so we just do this just over and over and over. So this is what we do every night when we get in bed. We play with the dogs because for some reason they come alive at night. 
They think, okay, mom and dad lie down, now it's time to play. Every single night. Jared started his new job today, AKA his dream job. Day one in the books, orientation down. Tomorrow I actually start training, so. Tomorrow will be like my really real first day. So actually, I thought the whole week was going to be orientation. I mean it is, but like this was just us sitting basically through a meeting the whole day. Tomorrow I'll actually start training in the pharmacy that I'm going to be working at. Hopefully that line is so dirty. Why do you do that? You like smacks or something. He doesn't like the camera. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> we are watching a movie before bed and we watched the regular Grinch in there. Well, I guess the, the middle Grinch. <laughs> and now we're watching the newest cartoon Grinch, which I absolutely love. I, I love it more and more every time I watch it. <laughs> it's so way. good. All right, guys, we're in bed. We're all tucked in and we are going to watch the Grinch. Thank you so much for watching whatever day of Vlogmas this is. We hope you had a wonderful day and good night. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.